Today we talk about the Adidas original Stan Smith boost shoe in the green and white colorway. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to Casa Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. So what you've all been waiting for, the Adidas original Stan Smith boost shoe in the green and white colorway. Yeah man, I had to get another pair of these shoes for two main reasons. One, this happened to my other original Stan Smith shoe. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so I don't know about you guys, but I cannot, and I absolutely cannot, you know, wear my shoes and stare at a big fat demarcation. And I, I don't even know how it got there in the first place. So I needed a replacement for the Stan Smith originals that I had. Also, I was just curious to see what the shoe would look like in hand with the boost added to this classic. And all in all, I think that, you know, I don't like them any differently. I like them just the same. So looking first at the inside of the shoe, you'll notice that it has boost in there as a demarcation or insignia, as opposed to the usual Adidas three stripes saying. In addition to that, you can see that they have boost actually through the insole of the shoe, which is pretty cool. Anyways, going to the tongue of the shoe, you'll notice that it's made up of that usual premium full grain leather with Stan Smith peeking at the top of the shoe. The laces are the same as the previous sneakers with the flat white shoelaces. The whole upper is pretty much made up of the full grain leather and you also see the traditional perforations that represent the Adidas three stripes as well. Looking at the back of the shoe, the heel of the shoe, there's a little change up there that you may have not noticed, but it's made out of a new buck slash kind of suede material and it has a good feel to it in general. So looking at the midsole and the outsole of the shoe, you'll notice that it is covered in boost. The main difference here is that there's a thin layer also of the synthetic rubber that covers the outsole of the shoe and this pattern actually mimics the original Stanley Smiths that we've seen in the past which is a pretty cool touch to the shoe. So the price point for this particular shoe is $120 retail, US dollars that is. And in regards to sizing of the shoe, um, I would say go true to size. It totally mimics the original Stanley Smiths. <laughs> so Casa question of the day guys, do you prefer the Adidas Stan Smiths, the old classic, with or without boost? Comment down below so we can talk about it guys. Hey guys, so my sneaker talk is up. If you guys appreciate this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all of you guys for watching my videos, I truly do. And until next time guys, deuces. Hey guys, if you want to watch more sneaker videos that are dope sauce, go ahead and subscribe by clicking the link down below that says Casa Station. My name is Zoe, and until next time, deuces.